you're struggling with cluttered and busy paintings, let me show you how I transform my canvases to feel more spacious and serene. Hi there, I'm Janine, I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. When my paintings are looking too cluttered, I like to bring in some spaciousness and introduce a sense of calm. I mainly do this by getting rid of distracting elements and any texture that seems too much. I do try and keep a balance between energetic marks and more serene areas. I've premixed a kind of more neutral colour, like a greyish colour here, um, because I think this is still too light. Uh, maybe not light, but a bit too yellowish brown. But this might be too grey, so I'm just going to try it. I might try and make it sort of transparent. I need some glazing fluid for that. I'm just going to add some onto this lid. And then mix it in with the paint that's already on here. It looks very blue next to the colours that are already there. Get a bit more glazing fluid. And I definitely need to start adding a little bit more spaciousness. So maybe here. This could be... I do prefer, much prefer the warmer colour though. Let's see if I can make something a bit warmer. I've just added some pink and... Uh, or magenta and yellow oxide in here, which will make uh, an orange. And then I'm mixing that with some of this colour that I've put on here. It's a little bit better. And then to regain some of that texture, I want to scrape a little bit off. See if I can still scrape some down here. And then I go back in with my brush and try and make the edges blend a bit more so you don't have that rugged texture from the edge of the palette knife. I'm just going over any areas that I think are looking a bit too busy right now. There's a lot of beautiful texture going on and effects that I really love, but for the overall piece, they're too distraction or not in the right place, so I need to get rid of them. And I'll also see if I can get a little bit of the texture back. Like up here, what's starting to happen there with the colours, I really love. This is kind of what I would like everywhere else to be like, at least at the moment. It's probably going to change.
and then I'll add some lighter color. I'll also add some glazing fluid in here. So it'll be more transparent. Now I'm just going very gently because I want a lot of this yellow bit to shine through still. You don't want to cover it all up. And this is a bit too sweet pink. So I'm just painting over that. And I can also blend into the darker area that I've just added. I like how from this brush sto stroke down here underneath, this is sort of a continuation again. I painted over that brush stroke and now I'm sort of adding it back in, but in a different way. Now I'm just adding some glazing fluid to my brush because I want this to be very transparent. I'm just going over this yellow a little bit. And then again, I'll try and see if I can scrape some of it away again. And then I add some of the darker one again. Now the bits down here that I really liked are looking a bit too bright again. So uh, some glazing fluid, a little bit of water on what I've got left on my brush. I'm trying to kind of blend it a little bit into the rest of the paint here. Still very much very messy but in a different way to where it was before. So I'll let that dry for a bit and move on to the other one. I reckon that I'll probably lighten this bit later on. I'll just let it be for a little bit. Now on this one I really love all the action that's going on but it does need some sort of calming down so few of the more um, textured areas can actually shine better than everything being textured. So I reckon I might remove some of this here. Yeah, let's start with that. I'll use this remix colour again, which probably will seem quite a bit too light. And then I'll all through it in some of the dark colour that is already in a few places here. I'm trying to not make it too textured because I am trying to get rid of some of the texture. Maybe if I use my fattiest wedge again. Just me smooth things out a little bit and reveal some smooth the layers and Now I'll use some more glazing fluid water. Just kind of blend some of that 
all the other bits. Some more light coming in the middle. And then I'm trying to blend it with the darker colour again. I think some of this dark airish should be even lighter. I do like the texture, it's great to tear with that spatula. To this brush. I think all of this down here needs to be darker and I've got this um, makeup brush which is um, really soft. I want to try that. I'm going to wet that and then I'm going to take some of this, the darker paint, mix it with some glazing fluid. just trying to do quite a transparent layer especially down here if you like this video consider subscribing it's maybe even too transparent I was hope, hoping this would make a more even texture, but it's actually leaving quite a lot of brush marks. Maybe because I've got too much paint on my brush. I have another brush which I'm hoping might work better for this. It's uh, also a makeup brush that looks like this. It's smaller, but yeah, it's quite a bit smoother. Mm, maybe it does depend on how much paint you have on your brush. It does still leave marks. Not as much. I also have less paint on it now, I think. It's not as smooth as I wanted, but that's okay. 
I might go over it later again. And then I think I want to make this appear all lighter. This colour that I mixed before is quite dark. Let's try it. Yeah. Might want it a bit lighter. Let's add some of this. And then I'll also mix in some of this light creamy, creamy yellow colour. But I want this to be a little quite transparent too. So I think I'll need some glazing fluid. Can I put this straight on here? I can't. I've obviously still got some of the blue in here, the dark colour. like that texture at least at the moment and I'm just applying very little pressure so I can blend it a bit better and make the surface look smoother. I think also this middle bit needs to be lighter so let's do the same here that medium kind of colour, some very light colour and um, glazing fluid and a bit of water and hope it won't drip everywhere, it is dripping everywhere, oh well. trying to blend it with the darker paint that I just applied. I also disrupt this again a little bit. Let's add some of that medium colour again. Just for a bit of variation. I want to just break out of that again because it's getting too restricted. scrape some of this off again and add a bit more dark again I do want to make it a bit lighter up there but I think I need to start using bigger brushes now I have this one which is a hundred millimeters The reason I don't like using bigger brushes very much is because they make more mess. I'll add some lighter colour up here and I'll spray the surface first because that will help blend it a bit better onto the existing surface and then I'll use that creamy colour again.
to add a little bit more up here to connect these shapes with this light area. And if I spray over where the edge is going to be, I can blend it into the dry paint. I need something light down here again. This yellow is very distracting. I really like it, but for the good of the painting, I think it's got to go. I'll get a little a bit of it back. Let's move on over here again. First, I think this bit here is quite distracting. But we'll use some glazing fluid. Up here, I think I want to make this a little bit warmer so it can blend into that colour. I think I still have some of that yellow. take it over here a little bit. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of water. It's a bit too acidic so I'm adding a touch of that warmer yellow as well here. Just want to lighten that a little bit. Down here, I feel like this is too cool again. I want to add a touch of lichen and then this yellow. I also want to make it quite transparent. Here, it could be a bit more of a mid value to darker colour. And then I think down here, this shape's a bit too big. The paintings now look much calmer and I've kept still enough of my energetic marks to make them feel interesting. Do you prefer artwork that's full of energy or more serene? If you want to see the whole process these paintings have gone through so far, watch the playlist I've linked in the description. Thanks and bye bye!